Y'all, I'm using the selfie stick. I'm gonna start using this for real because I feel like it gets so much. So much you guys should know who this is because I'll have that video edited by the time this one is <laughs> up. We're just going around doing art stuff because that's what we do. Yes. On our day, y'all. And I'm sure you guys recognize this place as there's only been 5 million Instagram photos in here. Really? And we just want to be cool. So that's what we're doing. Yay! Another good date spot. Yeah, because you can just sit at their bar and drink.
Guys, my idea sucked. The um, drinks here are $18. But it's really pretty. See? Oh yeah, this is Max's outfit of the day. Tell them what you're wearing, Max. Um, I can tell you the origins of what stores. Yeah. Um, well, this shoes. is the shoes. These are my vegetarian shoes I got from Moo Shoe over in, I think it was this Lower East Side. Um, my jeans from H&M. This is the regular skinny black jeans. My party is from Urban Outfitters, the neighborhood. And my Henley shirt, it's from American Apparel. Right, right. I think Swagged like out. So I'm not. Okay, guys. I am just wearing a one grade day sweater. But I did find out a fun fact that it has thumb holes, guys. I'm a sucker for that. Um, and then AG and Alexa Chung jeans and Top Shop boots. All right, they're coming for me. I gotta stop filming. Bye. Usually goes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, we're at the happy hour. How much is this? Is this Max is a baller. He doesn't pay attention to prices. No, I don't. No, I do. I just know that I have money now and I get paid Friday, so I am not worried about it. Humble brag. <laughs> Humble bragger right here, okay? Okay, new and approved outfit of the day. So I realized that it's not as basic as I made it seem. Here. See little cakes. And then Alexa Turner and AG and Top Shop. Hold on. Alexa's over there recording. Looking at all the celebrities that sat on this bench here. Can't take people anywhere. We like did. we're just finding this out. Like no, I'm no, no, so no, no, excited. No, no. Uh oh, I'm just getting on anything. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah we this. basically grew up in the same hood. He's like, yeah, there's this kid named Mario that was around. I was <laughs> like, that's my brother. Uh, um, Small ass world. Then again, I know everybody. Yeah, that's true. 
But I never run into someone in Soho that knows the same people I know, so it was cool. It was cool. I feel like we're related now. Yeah. It was like we're closer bonded. to you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually right. care for you now. It's like we're, you're not a stranger. We're, we're like kinfolk now. <laughs> Dinner's here! <sighs> These home chef packages are not light. <laughs> but this thing honestly couldn't be more on time because I'm starving. What do we have here? If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know my meals from last week. It's a little Chipotle chili chocolate bar by Vasquez, which is right up the street from me in Soho. I'm glad somebody's thinking about me. Thank you. Like I said, if you watch my Snapchat, you already know that I had meals last week from Home Chef. These are the meals I had last week. I just love the idea behind these because I mean they only charge you $60 they only charge you around 50 to $60 which is way less than what I spent at my usual trip to the grocery store anyways and guess what when I spend a hundred two hundred dollars at the grocery store I still get home and I still look in my refrigerator and I'm still like mm there's nothing to eat. So the fact that they pre-plan three meals for you, provide you with the recipes, the ingredients, without you even having to think at all, I mean, that's the type of service I need. Cause I'm a motherless child and I haven't been taught to do these things. And I specifically like Home Chef for the way that they like cater to your different dietary needs. Like if you're gluten free, if you're dairy free, if you're just vegetarian, pescetarian, whatever it is, you just click the little options and they will come up with meals that suit you. I think it's gonna be a chili taco night in my house. Oh yeah. And I might film some of it because that would be fucking hilarious because I'm not domestic at all. Are we safe? We're not really safe up there, but we're gonna roll with it. Hav a lime. Did you know that's a thing? You can hav things? So, when they say that, do you cut the lime this way? Or do you cut the lime this way? The world may never know. Mmm, lime smells good. Garlic smells good. It's like the meal's already made once you just cut those two things open. I mean, tacos are done, basically. Uh, so I mean, I guess I'll do a little more. Seems like a lot. Guess I'll just do it all. Told me to use canola oil, but who still has canola oil? I mean, for real. New, new generation. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Starting to look like food. Smells like food. It looks so good. I'm so hungry. I've been munching on it as I made it. Um, I think I could use a little more lime. I'm also on Periscope. Say hi to the four people who decided to join me. They the homies. Um, so I'm gonna go eat. Yay.